Hi there, Raj from Refined here, and in this video, I'll demonstrate two different ways that you can make knowledge from Confluence available on your Refined JSM support sites. So I'm using Refined for Cloud, and I've got my site set up here. I'm on the site home. If I jump into the site builder, then you can see that I've already added some Jira and JSM projects into this site. If you're looking for instructions on how to build your site from scratch, we'll link in a get started video in the description to this one, which should be of use for you. But let's dive into how to surface Confluence knowledge on this site. So if I go to one of the project homes, so this is a JSM project home, the first way that I'm going to demo is using the default Atlassian knowledge base linking functionality. So this allows you to link a JSM project to a Confluence space. And in order to do this, I need to go to the project in Jira. As admin, I can do this from the project page by clicking on the three dot menu and then view project in Jira. And then on the project in Jira, go to project settings and click on knowledge base. And then you can add your knowledge base spaces here. In the refined site, if I go to the site home, I can then use the search to search for knowledge base articles from all the JSM projects that I have on the site. So if I search for vacation, then I get an article hit. And if I click on that, then it opens up in this pop up. So that's the first way that you can add Confluence knowledge to your refined site. The second way that I'll demo is by adding the Confluence space itself to the same Refine site. Note that this requires Refine for Confluence Cloud to be installed as well. And adding the space to the site with the second method, it means that the space is not being viewed or exposed via the knowledge base linking between the project and the space. So the permissions for the space will be respected as per what has been set up in Confluence. This means that for JSM customer users, they would need to either be Confluence licensed users or the space would need to be anonymously accessible in order to be viewed by the customer users. But let's get into it. So I go to the site builder. And to add the space to the site, I click on add new, add Atlassian content, and then search for the space and add it. For the sake of this video, I've already gone ahead and added a knowledge base space in here in this way. And what Refined allows you to do is you can change the name that's displayed for the space in Refined. Note that changing the name here, it doesn't change the space name in default Confluence, but rather it's the display name that the space is displayed as in the Refined site. So if I open up the site itself, then you can see that I have the company information space here. I can also choose to nest the space under a page, for example, but for this example, I'll leave it in here. If I click on the space, then similar to the site home or the project homes, I get a landing page that is customizable with different modules. In this example, I've added a few navigation cards and these link to some useful pages that I want my users to be able to access quickly and easily. I've also got a page tree from the space on the left and a couple more navigation items that are useful for my end users. A good tip if you use this second method is also to add Confluence modules or modules linking to your Confluence content on the project page itself. So I'm on my JSM project page in the refined site and this is where my users would navigate to create requests, for example. But on the same layout, I've added some navigation modules to different pages that are useful for my users to see. And I've also added some links to useful pages at the bottom as well. And if I click on one of these, this is what the Confluence page renders as in Refined. So one of the other advantages of adding Confluence knowledge to your Refined support site in this way is you get the page tree at the left which makes it really easy for your end users to navigate the content of the space without having to leave the space context. 
so they can easily navigate and self-serve essentially using the content on the space. Also, if you've added your Confluence space to the site, the pages are searchable, similar to how you would search for knowledge base articles via the link between project and space. So if I search for vacation once more, then I have the article hits on the left. And as you remember, these pop up in the iframe. These are via the JSM project knowledge base link. And I also get the same result as a page on the right hand side, which renders in the refined confluence page view. So I hope this video has been useful for you. If you have any questions on this or anything else, you're welcome to reach out to us via a support help center. You can find this at support.refined.com. And if you want to learn more on Refined and what we do, you can read up on our app documentation over at docs.refined.com.